I, I, I've, I've never killed anyone. Pete, if you're sure about this. Don't worry. I've got this. They they had some supplies just sitting out and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she she, she let me go. Michonne! What is it? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. Really? You'd come after me? You're one of us now. And I can't be the only brains around here. Ooh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Birdo, no. <laughs> it was a mutiny! <laughs> Boto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn, man. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? They're growing on me, too. Kinda nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well. I think Berto's little routine is winding down, so we can finally play cards. 
Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Are you sure you want to do this? I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. <laughs> Oh, God. He's dead. How could you? If he's dead, he talked about my kids. It doesn't matter what he said about your kids. That's not an excuse. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. You already killed Zachary for what he did to Greg. Do you really want to keep going down this road? That's for me to decide. Uh! Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Michonne, it's Pete. Please pick up. Something's happened. I don't have much time. I'm right here. Thank God. There's something you have to know. Norma and her people, they... They, they have the crew. Sadiq Oak Humberto. Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? That goes both ways. Anything you do to them, I'll do to Randall. Better not touch him! We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us.
She's coming here for her brother. When she sees what we did to him. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Norma wants her brother. The bag helps. A little. Might be enough to stall her. And then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. In my work. We just have to be quick. The minute your guys are inside, we're out of here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. Sam! He's not going anywhere. Sam, what the hell are you doing? God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <laughs> I understand. He should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Uh, Sam, you can't still be thinking- My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her and Greg. If you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I won't force you to leave. If you want to stay, that's up to you. You don't have to leave either. We can defend this house. We can fight them off. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't going to shoot it. Careful. You don't want to shoot yourself. Empty. Can 
Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister will be with me. I'll make sure she's safe. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Hang on to this. You don't know when you might need it. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. I'll be careful. Wish it didn't always come to this. Is that music? You doing okay in here? I bet that was scary before when I brought your sister in like that. But she's okay now. Nothing can hurt me in here. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. The monsters don't scare me. I scare the monsters. Really? Yeah. My dad scares them off too. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Your dad's not coming. He's dead. What? He got shot outside. No! I don't believe you! I want to see him. Please. <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? 
It's what happens, right? No. He was shot in the head. When someone dies, you put a bullet or something sharp right here. <laughs> and then you don't turn. Okay? It's not fair. Alex, you need to be strong. Okay? I can't. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. This is your home. This place was never mine. They let me hang around, play make-believe. I left my real life a long time ago. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. You can't leave James and Alex. They've lost enough today. I know, I know. I'm not trying to hurt them. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. You found the bag.
Yeah, here. Thanks. Is Paige ready? We're as ready as we're gonna get. I'm looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. He's hiding in his closet. Thanks. I'll go get him. I'll meet you outside. Sam, you okay? Greg and Dad, I just, I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? Just say what he meant to you. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you a moment. You're right. You look a little... Just remembering my kids. Did they... You know? I don't know. I wasn't with them. I don't know what happened to my family either. I thought about joining them, but it felt... Weird. I mean, I live here, but I'm still not family, you know? They treat me like I am, but I know that's not true. These days, families aren't the people you're born to. It's the people you stay with. The people who care about you. Pete's crew? They're a family. I guess that's true. I decided to stay. For the kids. Don't get cocky. It had nothing to do with what you said. Uh-huh. Miss Joan? She's here! <sighs> I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? You gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. It's a 
quiet out there. You ready for this? Getting your crew back? Just stay alert and be ready for anything. We don't know what Norma's planning. You got it. What's going on? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. I don't want to hear anything you have to say until I get Pete back. I was getting to that. But since you're so impatient... See? I can be reasonable. Thought you can get rid of me, huh? Don't get used to it. Listen. Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. I'm sorry for what he did. That's all. You'll get Randall after you hand over my friends. I brought you Pete. You'll get the rest when I get my brother. Careful, Michonne. A show of good faith, then. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, I want to see my brother. Who cares about Randall? These people murdered Zachary! We're all homeless because of her! Kill them and be done That with is them. not what we are here for. Now be quiet! My brother, now. I have given you what you wanted. I just want to see him. He's right here. <laughs> Randall, you okay? <sighs> just hang on. I got gotcha. you. You better hope when I take that mask off, he don't look as bad as he sounds. Release that one. This is bullshit! I'm glad you're safe, man. I made good on my end. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Give me Randall. Huh. Oak! Hey, put the gun down. I could shoot him and still have one more to spare. So you're gonna do what I've asked. Now! I came here willing to talk. But if you're gonna insist on being difficult... Randall! <laughs> you wanna try that again? Who gives a shit about Randall? Jonas, don't! If you're not gonna punish them for what they've done, I will. We deserve retribution. Not like this. This is for Zachary. No! <laughs> Berto! Everyone put your guns uh, down. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. They shot her! Jonas! Fuck! Oh, run! Oh, 
criminal. Kill him! Get to the house! Now! No! Go! Go! Show now! Get that gate open! Hurry! Stop her! Gotta hold the door with something. I thought you weren't gonna make it for a minute. They stopped firing! They're surrounding the house! We have to get out of here! Where are the boys? Upstairs!
can't save you. I can't fix this. I wish I had. There's nothing I can do. Michelle, it's Dominic. What's Where the happening? hell are you? Go pack your things, okay? We have to go. Where's mommy? We tried to wait. We're, we're, we're heading to Donna. Dad! She'll be fine. Come on. No, she'll come look for us. We have to be here. Michonne, if you're still... Just stay safe, okay? They need you. I'm so sorry. I don't know what else to say. I'm just... I'm sorry. go. Why? My work. I... Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here. With us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Just let me say goodbye. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <laughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michonne! No, no, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! It's too late. Girls, listen to me. I have to go. I, I just have to go. Michonne!
Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. We can drop you off in Oceanside or maybe one of the other communities up north. It's good people. Thanks. And thank you for everything. I don't know if we would have made it out of there without you. You found my brothers. You took care of Norma. We owe you a lot. Promise me you'll learn from this. Remember what happened here. I will. It'll be harder out there, without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not gonna be the same without him. I got you covered, Pete. Don't worry. I know I can count on you. I wanted to ask. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What, what happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I wasn't thinking clearly. All the smoke... I saw things that couldn't be real. It's happening more often now. The hallucinations, hearing things... Maybe you'd better start thinking about... You know... What if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, I was able to walk away. I couldn't keep living in that moment with them anymore. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can do anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. I'll go back eventually. When I'm ready. Just don't take too long. Come on. 